Welcome back to Theories from the Web, a series of bite-sized Deadworld videos where we embrace speculation and dive deep into the world of fan theories. This time around I wanted to go back to my roots to uncover the mysterious NM-8 by analysing two cryptic post credit sequences at the end of a couple of recent Ed's World Beyond videos. Although both scenes are short and seem to be unconnected at first, there may just be something more sinister hiding right below the surface. This is the NM-8 theory. Now roll that intro clip! What is that stuff? I don't ask questions! That sounds like a question! Yes ma'am, threat neutralized. The asset has been secured. The first scene in question follows the end of the Beaster Bunny. It's revealed that the meteorite that hit the Easter Bunny at the beginning of the episode has been quarantined. Some special agents are shown to have neutralised the threat and secured the asset, and one of them is talking to a woman on the phone who is presumed to be their leader. We also find out that, after it was blown into space, the giant chocolate rabbit laid several more eggs underground and is still alive. Or something is still alive, all we see is a silhouette. The second post credit scene comes at the end of Surf and Turf Wars Part 2, and before you ask, there was nothing at the end of Part 1, I checked. The scene follows a fishing boat, catching some fish and a lobster, then taking them back to London, better known as the place where Ed lives. After they place the lobster into a tank, we see that a small fragment of the NM-8 barrel was transported along with it. Okay, so a couple of things. Firstly, in case you needed a refresher, NM-8 was the stuff being transported by the barrelful at the start of Surf and Turf Wars Part 1. It was the chemical that fell off a ship, contaminated a rock pool, and turned Matt into a lobster. We don't know what the substance is or who was transporting it because the captain of the ship doesn't ask questions. I don't think the name of the substance gives us any clues either. It could be an acronym or a chemical symbol of sorts. It might be a reference to some oil rig in New Mexico, but honestly, I think it's just a pun on the word animate. So what could this bizarre substance be, and where exactly did it come from? Well, if you're very clever, you might already know where I'm going with this. I believe that the black goo in Surf and Turf Wars, the NM8, is the blackberry jam that was being harvested from the meteorite at the end of the Beast Bunny. Not only do the two substances look identical, they both have the same effect on organic life. Obviously, the chemical in the barrel fused Matt with the lobster he found, but what about the Beaster Bunny? We don't see animate in action in that episode, do we? Do we? At the very start of the episode, the egg-shaped meteorite hits the Easter Bunny. And what is the Easter Bunny holding? A basket full of chocolate easter eggs. And no, the rabbit isn't actually holding any eggs in this shot, but it's the easter bunny, I'm sure they've got chocolate eggs on them somewhere. After the collision, the rock oozes black goo before absorbing it all up and hatching the beast itself. And what exactly is this beast? A giant chocolate rabbit. The chemical that turned Matt into a monster is the same one that turned the easter bunny into a monster. It merges whatever it touches, be it a rabbit with some chocolate eggs, or a lobster with a stupid person, and turns them into giant Frankenstein beasts. And clearly, somebody has taken an interest in it. What started as a sample collection in the spring, turned into a full-blown cross-continental shipping operation by the summer. Who knows what they'll be doing by the autumn or winter? But what kind of an organisation would be interested enough in this substance to transport so much of it? Who knows? The secret agent cryptically refers to his boss as Ma'am, and the captain of the container ship is, as we've already established, completely useless. That being said, this secret agent is actually given a name earlier in the episode. At the beginning of the annual easter egg hunt, the mayor extends a personal thank you to Michael, who was in charge of decorations. And wouldn't you know it, he's the secret agent from the post credits scene. I like they just showed up on the day, saw a giant pink croc and decided that was part of the decoration. Maybe he's acting as a spy right here, it's hard to say, he doesn't really do much when the beast bunny is causing mayhem. 
Even linking the meteorites to the animate raises more questions than answers. The surf and turf scene established that a load of fish that were swimming in the stuff had been transported to London. What kind of effect, if any, is that going to have on the people eating it? What about those eggs left by the beast bunny? Are they even eggs? Maybe the meteorite itself was the egg and the other rabbit had absolutely nothing to do with it? And most importantly of all, who is the mysterious organization harvesting and transporting animate in such high quantities? And what do they want to do with it? What kind of diabolical scheme are they cooking up with this volatile and unpredictable alien substance? What even is this stuff? Maybe it's blackberry jam. It could just be blackberry jam.